pandemic has caught the world uh, pants down because even though there are historical um, antecedents that humanity should have learned from, given the fact that there have been pandemics of this nature, occurring at about every hundred years, starting from the third century before Christ. Uh, we were not prepared. It would, you know, this is notwithstanding the fact that it is reported that in 2015 or so, one president of a superpower mentioned the possibility and made efforts to put in place something in preparation for the pandemic. However, what I have found is that now human interactive activity, activities have been highly curtailed. Everybody is suspicious of the medical virus transmission during interaction in public and private places. And so the art world is affected in three ways. The first is in terms of production. Production in the sense that artists now have more time in their privacy, in the privacy of their homes, subject to availability of materials to work. You now have more time to, to work at home, which again, you know, the availability of supply of materials is curtailed. Secondly is uh, the marketing. The marketing of art now via exhibitions, physical exhibitions and so on is curtailed. However, the internet and the social media provides an opportunity for artists to still be able to interact with their consumers, with their collectors, and of course with the other members of the community. The, the art community. Thirdly is uh, the issue about uh, publicity. When I use the word marketing, I, what I meant was the sales. Artists can sell to the social media. They can price their work. Even exhibitions through the social media is not being done. You, you, you take images of your work, description and everything, I put the price on the social media. And of course, the buying world can buy, you can access. Um, art auction houses are now doing art auction, uh, selling, selling their artworks through the social media as well. Now, publicity. That is one area where the development in the world now of uh, social media has become very, very useful. Artists who hitherto did not have money to pay for gallery, gallery um, exhibitions, and so on and so forth, now can easily, at a much, much cheaper rate, buying data, putting their, their works, and uh, publicize their ability, and so on and so forth. So that is three ways that have been affected. There are some untapped potentials in the picture house sector. For instance, um, there are many, many talents out there. You know, in secondary schools, in post-secondary schools, whose uh, parents do not have access to the resources to send them to tertiary institutions for education uh, and yet they are able to they are able to produce prodigious amount of work. You've seen, uh, you've seen uh, prodigious works of art. You've seen um, one or two instances where top people in the world have had their portraits produced by young virtually unknown artists um, 
they have, they have presented their work to, to, to the chairman of, uh, of important people like President Donald Trump. How this work in his pencil work of his or by work of his done by an untapped. I, I, I had uh, uh, Bernardo Gini produce my portrait using um, uh, traits with an untapped potential. It's now growing. Uh, Bennett or Gini. Bennett is P E R N E R D. Then Gini, O G I N I. I just found it on Instagram. He did, uh, he did my portrait in. Yeah, it was a good work. Money it was good. It was good. Uh, and I saw it on Instagram. And the next thing was he tried to find how to get me. And he got me. There are many like that. There are many on top of that. And this, the, the social media uh, is giving these on top potentials better opportunity than it used to be. Better opportunity. However, however, in Nigeria, we don't have Resi many residency programs for these untapped potentials. We don't have workshops like I used to sponsor with the University of Lagos. I did uh, four sponsorships uh, around 2011, 2012, 2013, and I think 14, where everybody, whether you are an artist, or not, as long as we are talented, come for this workshop. And I paid for materials and facilitators. And a lot of um, untapped potentials we are discovered. Uh, I must give kudos to Bruce Onova Akwea, who has been very consistent in building this volume of untapped potentials. I think as I'm speaking now, there is uh, either, either an arrangement or uh, the Agbarato Amat Amatan workshop ongoing. These are avenues, but our society does not have many of these. Um, discovering on top potentials and building them up and giving them opportunities to become very useful artists who can provide not only pleasure, decorative aspect of visual arts, but also uh, generate much needed foreign exchange for our country. Uh, a, lot, a lot of potential out there. If we could really tap into creating workshops to assist the untapped potentials, if we could do art residency programs, we could um, create uh, <laughs> like what they're doing with Big, Big Brother Niger. You can imagine locking some untapped potential artists in a room and ask them to produce as many works of art as they can and give them materials and expose them to the world and then at the end of it all determine the best works of art you can imagine the kind of um, exposure will give such uh, visual uh, artists uh, potential visual artists these are the kind of um, top potentials we have not uh, explored and we have not explored funding of um, the visual art sector, uh, proper funding of the visual art sector. Uh, we have not, for some reasons, we do not quite appreciate the importance of our visual art in national development vis-a-vis -vis its interwinning element of tourism. When you go to different countries of the world and you see what the art has done to promote tourism and the amount of money you generate um, in tourism, you will appreciate what the, 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 the value and the potential, potentials contained in, uh, in, uh, in uh, growing and developing the Various on top potentials in visual art development.